Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Client Services Technology Development Team. The following video is about the automatic software update feature for Avaya Diagnostic Server 2.0. This video tutorial will demonstrate how to configure the automatic software update feature for ADS 2.0. The automatic software update feature will allow your ADS 2.0 server to automatically download and install any newly published software for your cell gateway and or SLA Mon server. Available software with this feature will include new software releases as well as service packs. In order for this feature to function, you will have to enable it pre or post installation and you must also have a valid SMTP server configuration defined for your cell gateway. Here are a few other important points to keep in mind. Any downloaded software will be applied automatically after a default grace period expires. Service packs will be automatically installed after 30 days, and major and minor releases will automatically be installed after 60 days. The automatic software update capability is delivered as part of the cell gateway, and as such, will only work for both of your ADS components when they are co-resident and deployed on the same server. If your cell gateway and SLAMON server are deployed on separate servers, then this feature will only work for your cell gateway and not your SLAMON server. In this separate server deployment model, you will need to manually upgrade and install software updates and service packs on your SLAMON server. As alluded to earlier, you must first enable automatic software updates as well as provide a valid SMTP configuration before you can use this feature. The cell gateway makes use of email notifications to provide status alerts for activities related to automatic software updates. There are three ways you can enable this feature and define your SMTP parameters. Two, during a new implementation, either through an attended or unattended installation, and one, for an existing implementation via the cell gateway user interface. For attended installations, the installation wizard will require that you select whether you want the automatic software update feature on or off. Here, you will also be able to enter the SMTP parameters for your email server you will need to provide the following mandatory fields. The host name or IP address of your SMTP email server, the port number used by your email server, and an administrator's email address. This is the email address of the person to who the notifications will be sent. Optional fields may include username and password, should your mail server require that, or a secondary email address in the event you want notifications sent to multiple cell gateway administrators. For unattended installations, you must enable and define your SMTP parameters in the ADS underscore response.properties file. To enable this feature, you must edit the section of this file titled Automatic Software Update Configuration. Specifically, you must replace the value select with either on or off. And again, just like in the attended installation, you must provide the mandatory and or optional SMTP parameters. If you have upgraded an existing cell gateway, you can enable the automatic software update feature and define your SMTP server configuration from the cell gateway user interface. The SMTP server configuration option can be found under Administration, SMTP Configuration. Once again, as before, provide the required SMTP server details. After you have completed this configuration, you can now manage this feature. You can navigate to this setting by clicking on Advanced Automatic Software Updates. From this screen, you can click Edit to enable or disable the feature, or change the time of when automatic installation occurs. The units of time are measured in military time. For this tutorial, I will leave it set to the default of midnight to 1.59 a.m. You are also provided an automatic software update history table where you will find other relevant package details such as package type, status, and even date applied if applicable. After you've made your changes, go ahead and click apply, then restart your cell gateway services. One final note on notifications. With this feature, there are two new UI notification alerts. The first banner message notifies the administrator that newer software than what you are currently running is now available. And the second, that post-installation activities are still required 
before the ADS software installation is considered complete. And finally, there are also new email notifications that the ADS administrator can expect to receive. They are, Gateway has successfully downloaded an ADS installer package, Gateway has failed to download an ADS installer package, Gateway started to install an ADS installer package, Gateway successfully installed an ADS installer package, Gateway failed to install an ADS installer package, reminder email for the ADS installer packages, and test email for testing mail configuration from the Gateway UI. This last notification is triggered when you click on the Send Test Mail button from the SMTP configuration page. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.